All new at five, playing fast and loose with public records. That's what a local attorney says about people tasked with making sure that you're safe in a taxi or Uber. Yeah, our Adam Weiner uncovered newly released text messages that indicate those officials may have been trying to control the information you see. Secrecy uh, in government has always led um, to corruption. Attorney Andrea Mogensen is talking about members of the PTC targeted in her lawsuit. It sure appears that there were that there were efforts to actively prevent the public from seeing some of these records by some of the people. She's suing Hillsborough's PTC, the watchdog agency that oversees taxis and ride sharing companies like Uber, claiming it's intentionally hiding records from the public. If, if records are hidden, the media doesn't have access to it, the reporting is incomplete, and, and people are literally being misled. In the lawsuit, it was discovered eight cell phones had been wiped clean, phones belonging to PTC members, including the executive director, Kyle Cochrane. The latest batch of texts uncovered in the lawsuit are between Cochrane and former chair of the PTC, Victor Christ, and they center around their negotiations with Uber and Lyft. The text messages reveal efforts to sway the media into spinning negative publicity in a positive light. It appears as that there was a certain comfort that the text messages would not become public records and that the emails would be because there's a very obvious difference between the tone. It took Mogensen nine months to get records from Chris. Chris claims the texts were accidentally withheld from Mogensen's public records request because of an administrative error. In a statement, the president of Florida's First Amendment Foundation says she's, quote, extremely troubled by that delay. Meanwhile, Mogensen says she's sure there's even more records out there hidden. I don't have any confidence that the assertions that we've received, all the records there are received, is true because that was stated in a status conference a couple of days ago and then we got hundreds of more records today. You heard right there, that's Mogensen saying in addition to the text we were just telling you about, she's recently gotten her hands on another batch of possibly hundreds of text messages. She says she's going to be using them towards demanding even more public records become public as she digs for transparency in an agency that is tasked with keeping us safe when we take a ride. I'm Adam Weiner, back to you.